Good evening, people. This is Damon Hills. I want you to pass away with an intern shaker. Turn back to your sofa. Oh, more we pay. I call you one shake. Eh, or what? Any other lorry? Are you really the Nigeria? Frodoria, Nigeria, Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari. Eh, he share between she. Oti dajo, oti jajo loju. Owa mwa na bayo. Shubon, omo ye tiri oho waja. A show ubo mo ye mo. It is too late to apologize. That is the way. It is too late. To apologize. Let's go there. Worried by the growing disaffection towards the administration of President Muhammadu Buhari from the southwest. Southwest is the area of Nigeria inhabited by the Yorubas. Hmm? Some northern leaders have begun what has been interpreted as a deft move to placate the Yoruba people through notable leaders in the zone. Our researches pointed that the move as the blessing of President Buhari, the northern leaders who are known in power corridors as Buhari's men are said to be in the vanguard of the effort of placating the Yorubas, placating men to a peace. There are governors Mai Malabuni of Yobe, who is also the national caretaker chairman of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, Abubaka Badaru of Jigawa, and Atiku Bagudu of Kebi State. Let's go there. In the last three weeks, they have met with some notable Yoruba leaders and men of influence in Yoruba land and in Nigeria, including the Afeni Fede leader, Pa Ayuade Banjo, his predecessor, that is Ento Kone in position, Kamo to Bosibe, Pa Ruben Fashionati. Don't forget, the Fulanis killed the daughter of Pa Ruben Fashionati, Nye Arabini Olakone. Okay? Then, Chief Olufa Lai, former Oyo State Governor, Senator Rashidi Ladoja, Tiotunje Ogafun Ogatiwa, Chief Sunday Adeyemo Igbo, former leader of the National Democratic Coalition Nadeko, Chief Ayo Padokun, Secretary General of the Yoruba Council of Elders, Dr. Kunle Olajide Latiyefan Laye, Ekiti State, DRM Muslimi of Yoruba Land, Edo and Delta State, Alaji Dawood, Akinola, and others. Eno kisi eserago shubon yorubas can never be deceived again. Never. No more. It will never happen again. The yorubas will be deceived by the Fulanis. After the close meetings which were held in Akure Ibadan. Lagos and Abeokuta, neither the visitors nor their host spoke to the press about what was discussed. In Kontukbimowa, one sofun, a won oniro yin, ata le jyotu abebe, ata wantun abe, eni kankan o jabo fun oniro yin. But contrary to the speculation in a section of the media that the northern governors were trying to woo some of the Yoruba leaders to join the APC. Our informant gathered that discussion with the Yoruba leaders was not about 2023 elections or politics, rather to come and appeal to the Yorubas because of their disaffection with the way Buhari has been running the affair of the country as if Nigeria belong to the Fulanis alone. Sources at the meeting told us that the northern governors discussed the state of the nation with the leaders, I mean the Yoruba leaders, 
and try to solicit their support for the Buhari administration. Yorubas brought this administration. If Buhari had done what is needful, if he has done what is expected of him, he needed not appealing to Yoruba for support. You cannot be killing me, killing my people, and be seeking my support. We brought you in the first place to this government. Let us put the record straight. Muhammad Buhari has contested four times before a Yoruba political merchant. Bola Amer Tinubu finally gave him his support and that support made the difference. But as an ally Mori, an ingrate and unappreciative soul, Buhari paid Yoruba's back with evil. Okay, one of the sources at one of the meetings in Ibadan with Senator Ladoja pointed that the former Oyo state governor asked the visitor on whose mandate they were in his house. Taloron Yuasile Myokilewa Show and and they told him that the meeting has the backing of President Buhari, meaning Buhari Loronwa. Buhari Loronwa. Okay? The leader of the delegation and Kebi state governor, Bagudu, was said to have told Ladoja that the visit was to seek ways to douse the tension in the country, particularly in the southwest. Talo Dafula Nikoloma Pawan Yurubani Barapa. Talo pa Mrs. Olakoni, talo pa Dr. Aborode, talo pa Olufon Vifon, talo wa si le gbo to wa pa Adogon ati Afafa Tai. Talo bloko Lagos seme eh, Lagos seme boda Lagos idi oko boda. Talo control police to fi pa won Yoruba, talo be ko stop awon police to stop. So this is a case of on sunkun on rera ilekun. Buhari must be crazy, I'm telling you. It will be recalled that a pressure group known as the Nigerian Indigenous Nationalities Alliance for Self-Determination, NINAS, a multi-ethnic alliance body chaired by the famous Yoruba emeritus historian, Professor Banji Akintoye, is set to lead a protest to the United Nations, to the United Nations General Assembly coming up next month. And Elei Njabu Ailaya. Ladoja, in his response, was said to have strongly condemned the manner the country has been configured under Buhari. The unbridled impunity and high level insecurity in the country, as well as the appointment of largely incompetent people in strategic offices because they are northerners. Buhari appointed only northerners in strategic positions despite the fact that these people have no track record, they have no experience, they are not learning, they are, they are almost an illiterate. But because they are Fulani, they are good enough in the eyes of Muhammadu. Buhari, a tribal jingoist, an ethnic jingoist, a religious by God. Okay, it was Gada that he told his guest that Buhari has been redrawing the map of the country and treating the Yorubas as though they are conquered people. It was said to have mentioned the closure of borders in the southern part of the country, while the borders in the north were flung open, adding that it was a calculated attempt to weaken the south economically. Hmm. Buhari want to kill the goose. That are laying the golden eggs. You want to kill the goose that were laying the golden eggs. Okay? The Osiolu Badon, it was Gada also chided the federal government for the manner custom officials have been invading markets in the southwest, querying why they gave exemption to the border closure in the south only to owners, Dangote and Bua, who are business businessmen of northern extraction. Ladoja was very angry about goings on in the country. He chastised the federal government for obvious abuse, abuse of power in clamping down on Shiv Sunday Igbo. He mentioned the ultimatum issued by the Emma of Mubi 
to Bururu Fulani to vacate his emirate and ask if that was different from what Igbo told the murderous Fulani in the Barapa area of Oyo State. It is on record that Buhari, through his DSS, his Northern Fulani DSS, came to, 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 to Soka in Ibadan and kill Yorubas, destroy the property of Shiva Igbo, both automobile, both uh, landed property, even pets were not spared. The same thing that Chief Adiyemo Igbo did is what Emma of Mubi did. But still, up to now, Emma of, Emma of Mubi is not yet attacked, his house is not yet invaded, his people are not yet killed. Double standard of highest order. Nepotism, crass incompetence, wickedness. That is what that means. Okay, the former governor told his visitors that the North is already preparing for breakup of Nigeria with the manner the Buhari government has been borrowing recklessly, borrowing money recklessly in the name of Nigeria only to deploy the largest chunk of this money to build infrastructure in the North and going as far as Niger Republic. That is, that is how he, he is trying to construct a railway line to Niger, to Niger Republic in Maradi. So, Chief Ladoja told the team, as his irreducible minimum, Ladoja told the northern governors to tell President Buhari to open the borders in the south if he must be seen to be a listening leader and direct security operative to stop the clapdown on southerners perceived to, to oppose the Buhari's president leadership style. My God, a rock poor Nini will cover. Unbelievable that Buhari could be this heartless. I cannot process it in my head. Hmm. The former governor confirmed that the meeting was on how to seek his suggestion on how to address the myriad of challenges confronting the country. A source at the Akure meeting, another place, which was aired at the residence of Parfashionality, told, told us that the meeting was to seek ways to douse the tension in the country. They told Parfashionality and Shifalai and others that Nigeria is in a great difficulty. The Yoruba leaders re replied that they knew that Nigeria is in big problems it was Shifa Lai who spoke for the Yoruba leaders. They met in Akure. You know, the people who came are politicians. So I'm not sure it is the same thing they told the Yoruba leaders that they met. These people have different agendas up their sleeves. Shifa Lai, in a telephone conversation, said there, were, there was virtually nothing worth talking about on the meeting. Yes, they came. But there was no substantive discussion. They came to allow us about the crisis in the country. We told them too. We knew before they came. That is all Chief Olufalai said. In an interview, Yoruba Council of Elders, Secretary General, Chief Olajide confirmed what the Northern governors discussed with him. Last week, about three weeks now, I received some visitors they were with me for more than two hours or so. They were concerned about the instability in the country. They were concerned about the instability in the country. I told them quite frankly that the issue of the 2023 elections does not even arise now. The country is in the fringes and for me, the bane of our problem the bane of our of our difficulties, the, the, the bane of our problems is the 1999 constitution. So, if they want solution, they should address the 1999 constitution. Everything everybody is saying is about this constitution. Bring this constitution down. Let everybody sit together and discuss how they are going to live together, how they are going to be governed. This is what the Yorubas are saying, and the Biafrans are saying are not saying anything different. 
bring down this constitution. Let us sit down together. Let us discuss how this union, which, which direction this union is heading. That is what Ninas is also talking about. To him that much is given, much is expected. Nigeria has done so much for the northern part. It is time for them to think like a human being and stop thinking like a beast in the bush. The world is not for the wise. So, if Buhari likes it or not, he cannot make any progress without Shiv Sunday at the table. He cannot make any progress. Except Professor Akintoye is on that table. No matter where he goes, he can he can do his foolishness, Yoruba Awaisa. Tinubu fell for him in 2015, and that is all. It will never happen again. So, guys, here I'm going to draw the curtain. Buhari is making effort, frantic effort, to appease, to appeal to the Yorubas. He knows he has done what is wrong and Either genuine or not genuine, nobody cares. Yorubas have made up their mind. We want Yoruba nation. Minimum, we want Southwest region, Western region, independent Western region with our capital in Ibadan. We can govern ourselves. We've done it before. We can do it again. Buhari will not teach us how to live our life. Buhari will not teach us how to run our affairs. Enough is enough. The word is enough for the wise. If you are new on this platform, please press the notification bell. Subscribe to this channel so that whenever we upload new content, you will be first to see it. That's what we do. We hit the nail on the head, irrespective of who's us is God. Without mincing word, there is no mincing word with us. We speak the truth every time, and that is what we are. That is what we are going to be continuously. Nothing is changing us. We are marble constant. That is our nature. We continue on the path of rectitude, on the, on the path of truth. To God be the glory. See you next time. Have a nice day. Bye.